morning, guys. Uh, today is going to be one of the, uh, well, it is my first track event of the year that I will be attending. Um, one thing I do want to do is we're going to take a video and some data here of our draggy unit here with the draggy application compared to our track timers that are uh, on board on the truck here and to actually what the track slip says. Um, there, there is a little bit of a debate with guys on the uh, forums and uh, the Facebook page is saying that their truck is accurate for the uh, times and everything like that. Well, they're not. On average, they're out, I think, around 0.03 to 0.04. Today, we're going to verify that via track slips, draggy, and um, and the onboard computer. So that's just um, it's where we're at. It's, it's, it's going to be around 12 degrees Celsius, so it's still a little bit cooler. Um, I definitely want to see if that... AFE Momentum GT intake has made a difference um, for our times and everything like that. So we're going to find out today uh, how that goes. So far, my best time, uh, even with the incognito, is still 3.9 seconds as well. Um, one more thing to point out is there's a few guys out in Merku, um Were their boosts? They were saying they were hitting like 14 or 15 pounds of boost. I'm like, that's pretty crazy. Um, the max I've seen now is around 13 and I'm happy with that considering that there is no tune on this truck. It's just the incognito. Uh, I got my cutouts, which really has no performance gains just for obnoxious things and, uh, and the intake. So we're going to see today what we're able to do. Um, and then we'll post up some data and see where we go. All right, guys. Okay, so just made a pass here. Uh, track timer here, it was a terrible run for me, unfortunately, bad launch. Uh, anyways, I ran 12.8, I was aiming for 12, but uh, goddamn, best so far is 12.2. Anyways, uh, so this track timer says 12.8 at 108.44. Our onboard system shows us at 12.4 there. And um, yeah, so once again, we, we know that that is not accurate, the speed as well here. Uh, is 173 uh, kilometers per hour there. Um, track timer here, obviously you're always in miles per hour. And Draggy actually shows 12.9, which I will drop a screenshot of that as well there. Um, but that's just the first run, and hopefully we're going to do uh, another one. We'll see where we're at here. Okay, just made another pass here. Computer shows 11.9 at 173. Track slip, we got 12.2 at 107. And Draggy pulled a 12.1, I believe, at around 108 there as well. So, um, once again, we're just comparing all these timers that we have here. So, uh, probably try to get one more run here. And hopefully, I'm, I'm aiming for a, a legit 12.1 on track slip or a 12. Let's see what we do here.
All right, so I didn't quite get my 12.0, but I did get a 12.1, so pretty thrilled about that. It did get a little bit warmer today as well, uh, probably around 16 degrees Celsius. But to show you here, uh, the truck is reporting 11.8 there uh, at 176. Our track slip here shows 12.18 at, um, am I retarded? What the fuck is this? 111? Is that 111? I did 111? Shit, I did 111. That's first for me. Sorry, guys. That's the best time for me at 111 there. Uh, at 12.1 is my best time so far yet. Um, I'll drop the uh, the draggy video as well there. Well, you'll probably see the draggy video first, then this video here. Uh, but yeah, that gives us an idea about the timers for the onboard system, uh, draggy, and the actual track timers as well there. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video or you got any help from this video, do me a favor. Just drop a like on there. Drop a comment. You got questions, something like that. Um, but yeah, once again, this rules out the accuracy of the onboard system in here. These are feel-good numbers for sure. You definitely look at them as like, wow, that's awesome. But they're not accurate, and it is by 0 0.03 to 0 0.04 is what I've been seeing there. So thanks, guys. Peace.